if we're going to be talking about the numbers, I think the seven billion figure, which is what their ask is for the tax for this province, is is compelling, and it should be known. You can make the argument we need to go further, but we have made moves. The union has dug in their heels from day one with no change at all, and I think it is unreasonable. So the total cost, according to the Ford government, of implementing the asks from the Ontario Secondary School Teachers Federation, the people now out on that rotating strike sort of thing, is $7 billion over the course of the contract, $3 billion a year annually if applied across the entire system. Why? Because as Minister Stephen Lecce, the Minister of Education, points out, if he gives into one union on compensation, then it becomes a Me Too clause. No, not that type of Me Too clause a me too i get a raise clause that kicks into every other contract harvey bischoff the head of the ontario secondary school teachers federation doesn't buy into the idea that asking the average ontarian who earns fifty-five thousand dollars a year to pay more in taxes or go into deeper government debt because his members that make ninety-two thousand nine hundred a year want a raise is a bad thing he thinks that yeah that's fine my members, including my $38,000 a year support staff, almost entirely women, deserve to make this year what they made last year, and he believes that those positions are shameful, and I say his attack on education in Ontario is shameful. In fact, over the weekend, Bischoff even put out on Twitter the idea that Ontario should bring back the carbon tax, the cap-and-trade program, to raise $3 billion a year off of you so that his members could get an extra raise. If, well, when you look at the government numbers, that $3 billion a year would just about pay for all of his asks. Look, I don't begrudge anybody making a good wage, but the simple fact of the matter is Ontario is facing an uncertain global economy. The Financial Accountability Office just said that revenues are about to go down over the next several years. There's less money to go around, and these guys want a raise on your back. They want you to pay more while you get less. It doesn't seem fair to me. Teachers already make a good wage, considering that they only work about nine months of the year and get vacation when the rest of us beg for time off. Let us know what you think. You can mention your comments on Facebook, on YouTube, down below, on Twitter, wherever, or send us an email.